Hello everyone, this is Mugundan Raghavan and in this video we are going to encrypt our credentials by using the Crypto.js library. So why do we need the encryption? Basically if you go to the .env file, we have used our username password. When you go for the larger framework or larger enterprise application, you might be having the different credentials. Maybe for the database, maybe for the reporting system, you might be connecting to the different URLs, different systems. So that means that you will be having a lot of credentials here. Hard coding every credential here straight forward will be the risky thing and it will be against the security because we are going to push our code to our Git repository. So rather than executing directly the hard coded value, we are going to encrypt. If you analyze inside our JavaScript, we have one library called Crypto.js. So this Crypto.js can be used for our encryption and decryption. So this is the growing collection of standard secure and cryptographic algorithms implemented in JavaScript using best practices and patterns. Then after that, we are going to use one of the method called AES. So AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standards. By using AES encrypt and decrypt methods, we can directly encrypt or decrypt the values that we want. However, along with this encryption and decryption, we will be providing the secret passphrase or salt value. When you provide the salt value, it will be added inside your encryption. When you want to decrypt, the same salt value should be used. Otherwise, you cannot decrypt the value. Basically, if you don't have the salt value inside your utility, what happens is like somebody gets your code. Somebody have both encrypt and decrypt methods. Even though they have the encrypted value, by using the decrypt method, they can directly get the actual input value. So that's the reason when you encrypt, you will be adding the salt. When you want to decrypt, you will be setting this salt let me explain further into our code base. Let's go to the Crypto.js util and go to the top. We are using the Crypto.js, obviously. And in order to install this Crypto.js, you will be using the two npm install statements. One is npm install Crypto.js, which is the normal JavaScript. Since we are using the TypeScript combination, we should be installing the at types slash Crypto.js so that you will be having the type safety for the Crypto.js library. After installing these two things, if you go to the package.json, you will be having both the things. One is at types Crypto.js, another one will be the Crypto.js. Okay, now let's go to the utility. Now you have the Crypto.js utility. Here we are going to add the salt from the environment, like how we did for the node ENV. If you don't provide, it will be using the default salt, which will be the backup. So let's use the process.env.salt. Basically, you will be setting that salt value inside your terminal while you run it. Then you will be having the same encryption and decryption by using your input value and that salt, it will be encrypted the same for the decryption. Now go to our login test and try to understand more here. So let me uncommand this line so that you can understand clearly. Here you can see the plain text and hello Mars and I'm going to encrypt. Encrypt is coming from the our same utility crypto JS util. Then after we will be having that value saved inside our encrypted text. Before displaying that, we are displaying the salt value. Whatever the salt value is set up, that will be added here and encrypted value. Then decrypted by using the decrypt method from the same utility, we are going to decrypt and we are providing the same output here. So let's execute and see the output here. Here you can see encrypted value and decrypted value, the same value which we have provided as an input. Hello Mars. But now the question arises, when you have the simple framework, maybe one or two credentials, which is very easy that you can encrypt and decrypt one by one. But we have the .env file, which might have multiple entries, maybe 100 entries or maybe 30 entries. Each time you cannot do that. At the same time, you might be having the different environments which will be the same replicate. However, the value will be different. So that's the reason we need to create one more utility called encrypt environment file. So this is also same concept. For example, let's say this utility inside our utils folder. We need to go one level above to reach the SRC level, which is the above one, SRC. After that, we need to switch to the config. In terminal, it is very easy. In programmatic, we will be using the path which is one of the predefined library inside our JavaScript so that it will be resolving. Current directory will be getting from the variable called underscore underscore directory name and you will resolve another one, one level above will be the dot dot. Then after going to the source directory, you will be saving this. Then you will be switching to the config and inside the config directory, you will be having the dot env file by default. However, if you provide any value to the node env while terminal, then that will be added with that inside our .env. So .env QA, UAT based on your node env. Finally, we have the env file path, which means that this will decide which 
environment file should be encrypted or decrypted. After that, encrypt environment file. So you will be getting all the contents. I am not going to each and every line, but I will give the highliner here. So it will be getting the file by encoding style like UTF-8 and all the content will be here. All the content will be divided or splitted by using the next line character. So every line will be adding one by one by using the next line character. Then you will have the ENV lines. Then after having the ENV lines, each and every line, since you know that there will be multiple lines, it will be having the more number of lines. Each and every line will be mapped. So what will be done for the individual line? The individual line will be taken and it will be split again by using the equal symbol. That means that equal symbol left side will be your key and right side will be your value. So the same way it will be taking and if the value is present, again, we will use the same utility A is encrypt along with salt value. Then in these lines, it will be again getting all the lines and making next line character so that you will be having the same structure how you had inside inside the input file directly. Then we are again writing by using the write file sync operation environment file path to the same file we are not rewriting to the another file and with the updated content using the same style of UTF-8. Now encryption is done. The same goes for the output also and basically it is for a decryption. The only difference might be decryption again you will be using the same sort. So that's the simple utility. Now again go to the login test and before going to that let's go to the terminal and show me what are the values you have. So go to the terminal and make sure you are choosing the command line or command prompt. Now show echo percentage node underscore env percentage. Enter. So there is no value set for the node env. That means that by default you will be getting the dot env file. That's good. Now see the salt value. Again, salt percentage salt. So salt value has not been set. Let's set the salt value. Salt equal to 23 mukku. Now again you can see the salt value. It is 23 mqku. See, let's clear the screen. Now, let me encrypt everything. Let me run this. So here you can see it has been encrypted. Let's do the encryption. Let me command all these things. Encrypt file. So encrypt file. It will be taking the .env file. So before running this, we will see what is the .env file status. It has the actual text. Go to the login test and again run this only. So now you can see encryption completed. If you go to the .env file, you can see the encryption has been done. Now, hereafter, you don't need this utility because you have encrypted all the things inside your .env file. You can do for the other things also. Now, coming to the actual test case. So now, let me skip the second one. So let me run the first one. Now, when you decrypt, you need to use the same salt and that will be used, obviously. And it will be using the values from the .env file, which is in the ciphertext format. It will be decrypted. Let me try to execute and see the output. Here you can see the output also showing it is using the .env file. And .env file, we don't have the actual value. But let's see the test cases is pausing or not. Even you can go to the playwright report and use the index.html to open the output. So let's go to the same and open that. Here you can see login has been completed successfully. That means that the encryption and decryption both happen in a successful way. So now, we have seen, why do we need the encryption and decryption? If you don't have the salt in encryption and decryption, anybody gets your encrypted value under the actual utility to decrypt, they can do it and they can get the actual value, which is not so safeful. So that's the reason when we encrypt, we use the salt, the same salt will be used for the decryption also. And how are we setting that? We are setting those while using the process dot env dot salt value. And in the terminal, we use the set salt is equal to some value. Now, when you run the same test case, you can use the encryption and decryption method. So this way, we have totally encrypted all the credential inside our configuration files. Tomorrow, if somebody gets our .env file, probably they can get this. Probably even they can go to the utility and see the decrypt method, but salt value should not be shared. Here you can see anywhere the salt value has not been saved so that you can directly put this code inside our Git repository. Now, when you try to push it to the Git repository, you can use the same inside your VS code itself on your left hand side. You can see the source control. Click on that. Click on commit and yes. Even you don't need to go to the terminal and put the different commands. Here you can see demo for crypto.js. That's all. Just save it and close it. Sync changes, it will be pushing to the 
origin main which is in the remote so that is also done so now in this video we have seen two type of utilities one is the crypto js util which will simply encrypt and decrypt with the salt and encrypt environment file also will be doing in the mass way which will totally take your environment file and encrypt everything and it will update each and every key and value and when you do the actual testing you will be using the decrypt method to decrypt each and every value from your env file and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud